Hey there, Adam here. Uh, today I'm going to do a real quick video on how to set a due date in Monday.com. And I'm going to start this in my training grounds, which is just a little workspace I set up to do these videos. We're going to start by adding a new board. And we're just going to do a, a nice, fresh board with absolutely nothing on it. That way you get the uh, real true experience of a, a new board with no automations. So the default Monday screen is going to have your item titles, which you can change to anything. If you're using this for a to-do list, you can just say first task, and you can rename the groups as, as necessary to whatever you want to call it, to do, and let's just say urgent. So the basic screen is going to have a couple different things on it. It's going to have your name of your items. It's going to have the person it's assigned to. It's going to have the status, whether or not you're done with it. And then finally, it's going to have a, the date column. The date column is the one that you're going to want to modify to uh, set a due date. So let me just start fresh with fresh items to show you what it looks like. So if you were to create a new item, I really need to get this done. So by default, it's not going to assign a date. So there's the manual way, and then there's the automatic way. I'll show you how to do both. The manual way to set a due date is just to click on the date column, and then it's going to highlight what date it is today. And let's just say I want to do it in, within a week. So I'll click on the 20th, and there you go. You got a due date. So that's the manual way to do it. But let's just say you're going to make a bunch of items all at the same time, and you really don't want to have to go in and click one week on each one of these. So if you know you're going to generally put it one week out, you can do it in an automatic way using automations. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a custom automation and then when you create an item, that's whenever you I was typing in the one, two, three, four, that test. So anytime you create an item, then you're going to, and this is sort of the unintuitive part which trips up people quite a bit. So you can't just, if you type in date, you can't just uh, push the date a week. And you can't just set the date. So if you were to click on set date, your only option is going to be set to today. So you actually have to do it in two different steps. So you always need to set the date to today. So whenever you want to calculate a new date, you set the date to today, and then you can actually just do another step, date, and then push means move it outward. And you're, again, you're going to click select your date column. And then for this one, you're going to do seven days if you want to do one week, or you could actually just do one week. Either way. And then you're going to create the automation, and there you go. So now, whenever I, let's go to automation, whenever I type automation, rather than having to type in the date, you see it, it automatically filled it in for you. Uh, one other thing to keep in mind is if you want th these uh, to-do lists to show up on your uh, My Work tab, you need to set yourself as the person. So you can do this manually or in a similar fashion to what I just showed on the automations. You can actually make it so that when you create an item, you automatically assign yourself. So I'm going to assign myself as the person. And now watch what happens when I do double automation. You're going to see that it's going to set me it's going to push the date out a week, and then it's going to set me as the person. All right, so there you go. That's all there is to it, to how to set a due date or a deadline date on Monday. Thanks.